Hey Kia Cuties, welcome back. My name is Kia and on this channel I focus on beauty, business, lifestyle, and spirituality. And today is about, I guess, lifestyle and spirituality. This is the Herbal Series. Welcome back to the Herbal Series, y'all. I don't know what episode we're on. I don't know. But today we're talking about hibiscus. And I do have some dried hibiscus um, running low. I gotta get some more, y'all. I use it a lot. Um, I have used it to make tea. I drank it. Um, I mixed it with other herbs when I made it with tea. And I also use it to make some of my products. Some of my, you know, y'all know I'm, uh, I love with some oils, y'all. I use it to make some oils. And I wonder if I put it in a few soaps. This one ain't out yet, but this is one of the oil I use. So you got some other herbs in there and some crystals. I did cover the name up, you know, just because it, it ain't released yet. But... So we're going to talk about the medicinal and the magical or spiritual uses of the hibiscus flower, which is a beautiful, beautiful, which is a beautiful flower. Okay. We have the hibiscus flower emoji. Y'all might have seen it before. When you type in flower, sometimes rose come up. Usually people use it to make tea when they use it medicinally because the flowers are edible and they also use it and some skincare products which i it's not bad for the skin but i guess just whatever floats your boat i mean rose i feel like rose has more use for skin like internally and externally than hibiscus hibiscus can be used in skincare as well you will see some hibiscus body wash to maybe have some face washes it's just not as common as roses because roses have way more benefits i guess um topically than hibiscus but hibiscus is not a weak flower listen 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 we're gonna get to the magic parts i don't know that part hibiscus tea is rich in antioxidants and vitamin c and it can help you prevent and treat colds and flus by drinking it now i never drank it for any healing properties i drank it for the spiritual problems it works it works it works <laughs> So it can also help lower the levels of cholesterol and also help prevent heart disease. As I mentioned, um, anything high in vitamin C is a great preventive measure for common colds and flus, like any type of influenza and just any sickness in your body, which every sickness starts from phlegm and mucus and colds. That's what every, any sickness starts with an abundance of mucus in your body. The, the mucus attacks your, your systems so they can't function properly. That's like the root of, I mean, I know it's different names for different diseases, but the root of every problem is mucus, mucus. So if you get rid of the mucus, you don't, you won't get sick. And eating mucus causing foods, mucus forming foods, which are meats and dairy are two of the biggest mucus forming foods and i want to believe they trying to put soy up there soy like it's a lot of sodium and shit but it's just a lot of shit wrong with soy um like hormonal but i know for a fact like meat and dairy are the two top contributors to mucus causing problems and this wasn't supposed to be the video on that so let's go back to hibiscus child so those were the medicinal uses of hibiscus. Let's get to the spiritual magic. You told her hibiscus child. Gender is feminine, of course. The gender is feminine. The planet is Venus, of course. The planet is Venus. Anything, anything involving love, beauty, lust, passion, sex, mm -mm, it's gonna be the planet Venus, y'all. And y'all know the sign that's ruled by Venus. Libra is exalted in Venus. That's why they love um Libras love like they love anything attractive. They love like looking their best at all times. Not saying other signs don't, but Libra, that's why to some people, Libras can come across as shallow or um not materialistic, but um like basically they like a very, very beautiful aesthetic. And most Libras, I know they're like that. And, it, and it's okay, you know, because everyone's different. Not saying every Libra's the same because, you know, we have 12 other signs in our chart. I, we have a whole birth chart, but I'm saying with Libra placement. So that could be a Libra, if you're a Libra sign, moon, 
rising or venus what jay you want to say hey to the people say hey to the people say hey this is my love say hi this is one of my hearts your table in my so hey Jade, you talking about slime? We talking about hibiscus flower, Jade. All right, now going upstairs. So the element is water. The powers are for love, lust, divination. So it's love, lust, divination. But I will also add um, attraction, lust. Uh, I will go more towards seduction as well, like seduce, like baby. Continue. The flowers of the red hibiscus are brewed into a strong red tea, very strong and very red and tart. I say, which is drunk for its lust-inducing powers. Lust-inducing powers. This drink is forbidden to women in Egypt for this very reason. Um, not sure if that's still true, but it was at one point in time forbidden in Egypt. You can research and see if it's still true or not. I'm not. I mean, how would they know? How would they know? Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's, Nobody's gonna, gonna know. know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How? Okay, if you and your house making some hibiscus tea in Egypt, unless they just ban the sale of the flowers, like, but they will grow naturally in some places. Like, y'all can control women i forgot some places are very misogynistic they don't like women being in touch with their sexual energy sexual energy is manifestation energy oh did y'all know that oh okay we're gonna come back to that on another video okay not saying you gotta have sex the sexual energy that's why men want used to want women to cover up like, don't show anything. Don't, you know, because you're you're being empowered, you know? But we have the power, child. The blossoms have been used in love, incense, and sachets. So, like I said, if you use it for divination, if you want to use it with water in a bowl, lovely, love, and lust. Yeah, so the taste... It's very bitter to me. Um, when I tasted it, it's been over like a year and a half since I had some. I think I mixed it with nettle, stinging nettle. I believe I made some. Um, I I added a little bit of honey. I think that was it because I recommend taking a, taking some type of correlating bath before drinking it. You know, if you want to use it for the spiritual uses, of course, if you're using it for medicinal use. Check with your doctor if you're on medication because it is an herb and herbs do act as a medicine as well, just a natural medicine. Just like if you were taking pills, you will consult with your doctor if you have any any type of issues going on. And like I said before, like I always say, don't take my advice as your medical advice. You still have to do what your body needs, your doctor, your caretaker wants you to do i'm just giving you the facts of these herbs and these are figgity figgity facts these are uses they do have many many more uses but um i'm not gonna make a two hour video okay like i said i'm just giving you laying out the blueprint which i'll do more research and i still learn every day as well that's why i started with all the herbs that i know most about and the herbs that I actually work with both medicinally and spiritually, magically. Yeah. Okay. Cha 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 cha. So like when you make it's a rose, it's a rose water perfume. Like, but um to correlate the rose, I add hibiscus and the corresponding essential oils that are therapeutic and skin safe. Okay, grade A, top top notch essential oils. Because it's good if you put it on your skin. But, child, anyway, this I've been talking for a long time. I'm going to let y'all go tune in with me next time. I don't know which herb we're going to do next. The last herb we did was jasmine. So, I guess I'm staying in this love lane. I wanted to do some, I'm talking about some protection herbs. Like, 
We need to get to the, we did some money herbs. I need to do some more. You can never have too much money, but don't be greedy. You know, use it as you need it. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you're on TikTok, go to my YouTube and find me. Go to my Instagram. If you're on YouTube, go to my TikTok and IG and find me. Like what you ain't on. You like this content, become loyal. Become a loyal kid cutie, okay? Because I'm loyal to you. And um, I will see y'all next time, child, okay?